You know what? I've been on this planet 51 years. And the last five of those years has been here in jail. My name, Barrett Washington. You know, I was sent to Statesville for 40 years for murder one and murder two. Now, I've killed some people, but I ain't no killer. No, I'm not no killer at all. The bottom line is they told me if I shared my story, it might affect my parole. And you think I was going to pass it up? Hell no! No! So you know what? I got with my lawyer and he told me, he said, whatever it is that I tell you or say here today will not affect me or anybody else. So I'm going to tell it all. That's just, yeah, that's what I said. I'm going to tell it all. And matter of fact, well, I'm going to even tell you about the crack cocaine too. See, the bottom line here is, yeah, I hit the pipe every now and then, but it was never no big thing to me. No. But it played a factor in the circumstances and the turn of events that got me here today. But wait a minute, hold on before we go in too far. Let's go back a minute. You know, I had been on disability for about four years from a car factory. And that, that particular day was also the day of my anniversary my mom was passing away. It had been 10 years since she passed away. She had a brain aneurysm 10 years prior to that exact day. It shook the shit out of me. I managed to carry on, but it changed my life forever. I kept her locker close to me to remind me of her. My mama's death brought me closer to my sister. We would usually hook up on mama's birthday. Hello? What are you doing? I can picture you over there holding mama's lock and eating a banana. Well, you got me on that one. I'm sitting up here ready to toast mama. I'm trying to wait on you, but if you don't take too long, girl, you know, I'm going to pour me a libation. What time are you going to be through? Oh, Barry? I couldn't get off work. I'm not going to be able to make it. Damn. That's the moment that froze in time for me. Onika always came by on the anniversary of Mama's death. She did it nine years in a row. And now this... I'm really sorry, Barry. You know I wanted to hang out with you today. We'll make up for it tomorrow. I promise. I had just gotten the promotion and the raise. I knew Barry's feelings would be hurt when I told him I couldn't get off work. Our mother's death was hard on me too, but it really took its toll on Barry. I wanted to be there to support him the best way I could. I just couldn't get there. We had to postpone. Just hold on tight to Mama's locket. It'll help you get through the day as always. I'll be over there tomorrow, okay? Okay, old nigga. I'll be fine. The plan to hang out with my sister and reminisce about our mother together, that plan kind of fell through. So I was left stuck alone to reminisce about my mother all by myself. So I decided to indulge in my private activity a little early in the day than usual. So you get 
two of them at the same time? Man, it must be one of them special occasions or something. Well, I'm celebrating the memory of my mom, man, the day my day she passed, you know. I'm real sorry to hear that. Man, well, thanks, man. You know, usually me and my sister, we hook up, man, we get together, and we go downtown, you know, to the park and look at the city skyline and so forth. You know, but today she stood me up. Oh, um, man, I'm sorry to hear that, too. So much for that, man. Hey, uh, you want to spark up a primo, man, before you roll? Uh, yeah, I got a couple minutes to go ahead and do that, but, uh, Try to keep it on the down low. <laughs> no, man. You ain't got to worry about me, man. You ain't got to worry about me. You know, oh, man. Man, I like that watch. Oh, this old thing, this ain't nothing, man. Got this from a chick I was messing with from way back in the day. She got my name, put it in it, and everything. <laughs> yeah, about that. Boy, shoot, I like this watch, man. Hey, when I grow up, I'm going to be just like you. <laughs> but, uh... Go ahead and do what you do right quick, cause uh, I gotta take this, you, you feel? Yeah, I feel. All right. All right. You know, I get my dope delivered regularly by Marcus, by hand. They say he's a bad dude out there in them streets, you know what I mean? But he was cool as hell around me, you know. Personally, I never seen a bad bone in his body until in the afternoon that phone call came. Hello? What's good, man? Say what? Damn, I hate it when they always try to put that on me. Man, they always trying to frame me for something. I can't stand that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Where you at right now? No, 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 no. You just stay put where you at, and we gonna deal with this, all right? <clears throat> hey, man, I'm gonna have to take care of something, so you gonna have to handle that yourself, all right? Holla. Man, that was one fat bag. Oh man, but you know what I was really concerned about for a moment? Why Marcus just up jump and left like that. That ain't really like him, you know? But you know, in my own mind, when I was thinking, I wasn't really concerned about where he went. I was just only worried about what was in that bag. Boy, it took me a while to get that one open, you know? You know, without my sister and them all being here and me being sitting up here by myself, Marcus running out the door, it was just time for me to Get my party started, you know? <laughs> yeah. But I finally got that bag open. You better believe me, I got that bag open. Party started. I was so spaced out that I didn't know what to do with myself. I paced around my place and couldn't sleep, so I decided to go for a walk. My mother's memory weighed heavy on my mind, and I couldn't keep my eyes off her locket. Apparently, I dropped my mama's locket. 
and a neighbor named Norman accidentally ran over it. And I snapped on it. thing is that I killed him. Even worse part is that someone else saw me 